Hello everyone, welcome to Jesus Core. This is Ajay Shah and today in the series of Pathways, today we have Chirag Jain with us and Chirag is already an IFS officer by qualification. He is B.Tech from IIT Kanpur and before this UPSC has qualified IFS and this year he has qualified UPSC with All India Rank 215. He is with us to share all his strategy, the success story, his failures, his mistakes, everything with us. And today the emphasis, the stress of this session will be on mathematics as an optional which is quite popular nowadays. So Chirag, welcome to GSS Core and first of all, many, many congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, Chirag, just uh, we would like to know your journey from IIT to IFS to UPSC, please. I graduated from IIT Kanpur in 2015 and uh, since then I had been preparing for civil services. I gave my first attempt in 2016, uh, wherein I cleared the preliminary examination but could not clear the mains. And second exam uh, attempt in 2017, I cleared the mains, uh, but uh, could not clear the interview stage. And in the third attempt, I got in 2018, in third attempt, I got 355 rank in the civil services and I was allocated Indian Ra Railway Traffic Service. Simultaneously, I also got uh, 10th rank in the Indian Forest Service examination. Uh, and uh, I preferred uh, Indian Forest Service and uh, I got MP cadre. So, uh, 2019 attempt was my fourth attempt and I got 215 rank and I expect either Indian Police Service or Indian Revenue Service. Okay, so Chirag, you have qualified so many examinations. You have cracked IIT, then you have cracked uh, this UPSC, IFS and UPSC Civil Services also. And that took twice. So, what was your experience? Do you feel that this examination Civil Services is little different from the other examination? What, what's your experience in this? There are multiple things. Uh, First, uh, this exam uh, requires enormous amount of patience. Uh, it is. Uh, it may not be necessary that uh, one may clear it in the first attempt or the second attempt. So uh, we have to show perseverance over the years, and uh, uh, there's a chance that uh, with multiple attempts we may ultimately clear this exam. And second, uh, there is certain amount of uh, subjectivity associated with this examination. Uh, uh, you, uh, no matter how much you prepare, uh, how could you uh, uh, write the examination? Uh, one ca cannot uh, say for surety that uh, what will be the result. So this uh, second is the subjective nature of this examination. And in that matter, in that way, it is different from other examinations, particularly the ex entrance examination from for IIT. Okay, fine. So Chirag, you have almost uh, excelled in everything, right? From IIT, IFS, everything. So what is your source of motivation that has kept you so much consistent in the excellency of the track record of academics? First, uh, the motivation is to be a part of policy domain of our country. Uh, in the civil services, particularly IAS, uh, we get the opportunity to uh, implement the policies of the government at the ground level in the initial stages of our career. And later, we can uh, be a part of policy formulation. So uh, motivation for uh, being a part of policy domain in our country was my primary attraction. Second, uh, my family members, particularly, particularly my parents and uh, my wife uh, gave me a lot of motivation. Uh, they provided immense amount of support during tough times. Plus uh, there are certain teachers who guided me at every step. So these are some of uh, the motivations behind uh, civil services. Okay, fine. Chirag, what are the factors that that we should keep in our mind before selecting our option and what was your uh, strategy to decide the option subject? There are multiple uh, things that we need to keep in mind uh, regarding the choice of optionals. The most important being is that, you, uh, that uh, the ability to sustain that optional for a longer time, uh, at least for one year, you have to sustain that optional. And uh, that comes when you have interest in the subject. And there are other secondary factors as well. Uh, uh, for example, uh, the availability of material, how much uh, scoring is the optional subject. And uh, for uh, science options such as mathematics, physics, the objectivity factor. If you ha uh, have done well in those options, so you are bound to get good marks in those. So these are some of the considerations that we should keep in mind uh, regarding the choice of options. So, uh, Chirag, there is a tendency among aspirants that they, they go for the optional like political science, sociology and all humanities option, fine. Right? 
so uh, and there is a myth that uh, options like mathematics or options like engineering they are not very much uh, scoring and there is no spillover effect over the other other gs papers like the maths will not be useful in the gs paper sa paper and other things so what is your advice on this there are two things that you have said uh, one uh, the overlap with the gs and second uh, the scoring nature uh, on the scoring nature i would slightly differ mathematics is very scoring at the same time yes uh, it goes like binary there are certain people who score very well rest of the people uh, do not perform uh, that much well and uh, second uh, regarding the overlap with the gs yes it is true mathematics doesn't offer any overlap with the gs and like uh, the subject or humanities subjects such as sociology political science and international relations history geography and so on so yes uh, gs overlap is not there but uh, if we work hard uh, if we have time then uh, optionals such as uh, mathematics physics uh, science options can be very scoring okay okay chira can you just uh, explain us briefly about uh, mathematics option so that anyone who has to decide this option he can understand the subject just a minute uh, can you take a break uh, to me just a minute yeah can you just explain in briefly about this mathematics optional so that anyone can understand that someone wants to decide the optional mm -hmm. mathematics optional uh, 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 i see it as uh, this way we establish a uh, heavy industry uh, it's uh, it has a long gestation period it uh, uh, involves a lot of efforts a uh, long time period is required for its preparation at the same time once we have mastered it it fetches immense amount of returns so that is a broad overview of mathematics optional uh, it has a, a vast amount of syllabus around uh, uh, around 13 topics are there uh, and uh, uh, unlike earlier years we are uh, people could master uh, some topics and uh, develops average understanding in the others uh, this is not the trend anymore now uh, to get good marks we have to cover all the topics comprehensively i would divide the optional uh, mathematics optional syllabus broadly into two categories one uh, the topics related to uh, conventional mathematics and second topics related to physics for conventional mathematics topics we have to master it definitely uh, in such a manner that even if someone wakes up wakes us from the sleep we should be able to do the question regarding the topics from physics uh, there are topics like dynamics statics fluid dynamics rigid dynamics for those topics we should prepare a set of questions uh, from the standard books from the previous years previous year question papers and uh, try to uh, master those set of questions in the exam if the question comes from that set we should attempt it otherwise we should not waste time on that so this is my broad overview view of mathematics option okay chirag can you just list out some of the advantages and some of the disadvantages of taking mathematics as an optional subject in upsc first advantages it is highly rewarding if uh, work hard work is done second uh, it is objective in nature so one can be sure of good marks if he uh, has he, he or she has attempted well in the paper regarding disadvantages yes uh, uh, syllabus is very long it requires immense amount of effort and third uh, it has no overlap with the general studies so these are some of the disadvantages as well okay and uh, how much minimum time is required to cover this option if someone starts right from the scratch uh it depends on the pace of the person in general it takes about 10 months to one year and uh, anchana who is the right candidate to start for this option subject any candidate someone who is from arts background can he start with this option or there has to be some kind of prerequisite some kind of background for that uh i would say certain amount of basic understanding of mathematics is required uh, one should be comfortable with uh, mathematics mathematical concepts he should be comfortable in solving equations uh, basically he should have mathematical aptitude uh, so this is uh, a prerequisite for mathematics optional okay okay fine i have seen that chirag the people who take mathematics as an optional they are basically from engineering background only so what is the role of connection of that engineering with this matter is there any connection certainly there is uh, in uh, engineering courses uh, we uh, the uh, Uh, undergraduate uh, students they study certain mathematics uh, certain uh, courses of mathematics 
so uh, by the time they are in the uh, stage of preparation they have already done certain courses plus engineering also uh, directly or indirectly involves uh, mathematical concepts so uh, uh, engineers have certain basic understanding of mathematics that helps them in uh, the preparation of mathematics as an option for civil services okay fine chirag i can just tell me one thing that uh, we have also interviewed rank 87 this year or oh, sorry rank 97 and he is from also from iit and he is also from this mathematics so does this optional mathematics helps us in cracking ifs also and is also simultaneously will it be helpful certainly certainly uh, uh, indian forest service uh, we have two optional subject and if one of the optional subject uh, is uh, the one which overlaps with the civil services uh, such as mathematics and physics so it certainly provides an edge and in ifs there is uh, relatively less competition compared to civil services because only certain uh, uh, people with science backgrounds or with engineering backgrounds are eligible to apply so in that way ifs uh, definitely uh, mathematics provides a certain advantage in indian forest service uh, examination as well for example for me it was definitely an advantage uh, in 2000 i gave two attempts of ifs in 2017 exam i scored 270 marks out of 400 which was highest in the country but still because of certain reasons i could not uh, make into the final list in my second attempt also i got second highest marks which was 267 out of 400 so definitely uh, mathematics as an option provides a certain advantage in the ifs examination Okay, okay. Chirag, whenever we start uh, any kind of optional, we decide to choose an optional. Then the very first thing that comes to our mind is that the optional should be popular, so that uh, popular books are available, popular test series are available, popular teachers are available. So, and this is a deterrence factor in choosing any kind of uh, subject from the science. So, what what's your advice on this? Was it a deterrent uh, factor for you? Uh, availability of material is uh, certainly a consideration uh, while choosing the optional. At the same time, I would also say that uh, for mathematics, this is not a problem. Mathematics material and guidance is quite easily available in uh, the uh, market. Chirag, tell me one thing: if someone is in college and he decides that he has to start his mathematics option from the college itself, then there are, are there some basic books? Can you suggest some books? which you can start studying in the college itself to uh, complete this option yes uh, there are books uh, uh, for every topic uh, and uh, there are standard books that are prescribed by the proper in the previous batches and uh, one can refer to those books plus uh, one should uh, carefully see the syllabus and the previous year questions to gauge the frequency of the questions being asked in the examination and uh, based on th that understanding one should attempt questions uh, in the uh, in the books and should uh, prioritize the concepts in the books okay fine uh, is there something like uh, usefulness of any topper scope in this mathematics option like we have this uh, in other optional there yeah, there is a certain way of uh, writing answers uh, in mathematics answer uh, in mathematical questions so uh, uh, one can refer to either topers and or copies of previous years or uh, the standard books also uh, have that uh, uh, that pattern of writing so one can uh, uh, refer either to the standard textbooks or to the previous uh, year topers copies okay. to uh, get a correct understanding of how okay. to write the answers okay okay chira can you just in very brief manner can you explain your strategy of attempting the paper when you got the paper in upsc how did you go for attempting the paper time management the sequence of solving how to write how to be in the limit and all can you just throw some light uh, i'm i suppose that uh, this is the question with regard to mathematics only yeah so uh, in math in every option we have to attempt uh, five questions uh, uh, section 1 section 2 first and fifth question are compulsory that we have to do uh, my general strategy was that uh, in section uh, in paper 1 uh, section uh, uh, section 1 i used to attempt two questions out of the uh, the uh, that uh, the questions that are optional so two questions in uh, section 1 and one question from section 2 this was in both in the uh, in both the papers because of my comfort Uh, with the uh, topics in uh, the uh, in the section one of both the papers, 
so uh, this was my strategy of attempting the questions plus uh, for every question one should try to devote not more than 35 minutes because this is how the time division uh, is there in 35 minutes one should be able to uh, attempt one particular one complete question okay okay fine fine is there any strategy of uh, like for example for other optionals we have a strategy like to solve base series to enroll some base series so is uh, is that applicable for this mathematics option Yes, uh, I would say uh, not just test series, uh, but what is important is the constant practice because uh, mathematics is done in such a manner that you cannot uh, just read the question and uh, learn, learn it. Uh, to get comfortable uh, so as to be able to solve the question in exam environment, we have to practice it many times so that in the actual examination, uh, we should not be spending the time in thinking of the solution. Rather, solution should be in our mind already and we should uh, just be reproducing it based on our practice. So, uh, for this pra for practice purpose, test series is one, uh, is one component. Test series plays a part in uh, enhancing the practice. At the same time, uh, uh, one should also refer to the questions, uh, the solved examples from the books as well and uh, try to solve them uh, uh, multiple number, multiple times. Okay, okay. Chirag, Chirag, so the last question to you. I'm making a claim. For example, we have subjects like political science, social media. In all the subjects, we have to mug up a lot of facts, data, and we should we all go for preparation of notes so that we can revise that before the examination. So by choosing maths as an optional, can someone uh, be uh, free from this kind of burden like uh, making a lot of bulky notes, making notes for revisions and all? I would not say uh, the f uh, free from this kind of burden. Uh, the nature of mathematics option is slightly different. So yes, it doesn't require that mugging up of so many facts. At the same time, certain formula have to be remembered. Plus, uh, there are certain questions in every topic that require certain degree of manipulation. If you do not know that manipulation, it will be difficult to solve uh, the question in the exam. So uh, we have to mark certain questions in the books and we have to, uh, uh, we have to revise that manipulation again and again so as to get the hang of it. Okay, so Chirag, one last, comfortable. Chirag, one last question. In all the other optional subject, uh, previous year papers, they matter a lot. We get, to, we get an idea of the important topics. So does it is applicable for mathematics also? Certainly it is. Uh, uh, in general, in certain topics such as uh, fluid dynamics, rigid dynamics, uh, and uh, statics dynamics, uh, questions are often repeated. And uh, if we look at the question papers of the previous years, if we solve uh, the questions in previous years, uh, we will be comfortable uh, in the actual examination. So yes, uh, referring to previous year papers is very much essential. Okay, okay. Thank you, Chirag. Chirag, I would just like to have your last words for the students who are appearing in Williams 2020 on 4th of October. What should be their strategy and what they should do from now to crack this prelims for sure? Sir? I suppose that people must uh, finish their labors one. So now is the time for two things. First, revision and second, test. Uh, one should pick up any good test series from market and uh, uh, should try to uh, solve a maximum test papers. This is done for two reasons. One, uh, value addition through uh, the solutions of the test. And second, uh, to practice, uh, to develop that kind of coordination which is required in the preliminary examination, eliminating the incorrect options and uh, gauging what may be the correct option. So uh, one is uh, this practice and second, revision of uh, the concepts that have already been done once or twice. Okay, Chirag, thank you very much for joining us and from the entire team of GSS score, we wish you all the best and you get everything in future. Uh, all the best, Chirag. Thank you very much for giving us time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.